Check this out. This is our really old dinghy. It's as old as the boat from 1983. And uh, with the exception of that little piece of Gorilla Tape that you see there in the middle, it is leak free. <laughs> I just found that leak when I was trying to figure out why the front half deflated overnight. Slapped a piece of tape on there and it's good for now. I guess uh, I'm gonna get a Hypalon patch and patch it up, but pretty good. <laughs> Gorilla Tape failed. That's okay. I have a patch. On this old Avon Redcrest, circa approximately 1983, got a couple areas where the Hypalon's a little scratched up, not too bad. And, you know, some of these reinforcing strips and things are, are coming up at the edges. Nothing, you know, major here where it's actually losing air, but lots of little areas that could use a bit more glue. So I'm going to re-glue anything that looks like it needs it. This is, you know, just a piece of rubber that I'm going to glue it down so it's flat and doesn't flop around. Probably not replace this whole thing. And there's only one place in this entire boat where there's actually an air leak. And that's, uh, there's a hole under here underneath this Gorilla Tape, which, by the way, in a pinch, works pretty well. It does eventually seem to peel up and allow the air to escape, but... It's good as a short-term fix. But anyway, I reasonably cleaned this dinghy and now I'm gonna go around with some sandpaper and I'm gonna scuff up the surfaces where I'm going to apply glue. Then I will clean those scuffed up areas with some acetone. And when I'm satisfied that it's clean enough, go ahead and glue things together. Okay, I'm doing my gluing with this Weaver adhesive. It's a two-part Hypalon inflatable boat adhesive. And the first thing I'll be gluing down is the patch that goes over this hole here. And I cut out a little piece of Hypalon patch that will stick over that hole. So when I expose this hole, I'm gonna have to quickly sand it, uh, wipe it down with acetone, and then glue the patch on. This adhesive is kind of interesting. It's two-part. The second part is not like an epoxy hardener. It's actually, it adds UV inhibitors and gasoline inhibitors to the glue, things that are obviously important in a marine environment. But you have to use the entire pot of glue in one fell swoop. You have about a four hour pot life where you can actually continue to work with the glue. But once you open it, you gotta use it. Oh boy. I think I have everything masked off. Think I'm forgetting anything for the areas that we're going to coat with white. I could say goodbye to the old North Carolina and Virginia registration numbers. And back here, we could say goodbye to Tender 2, also Babe. And we could say goodbye to Skimmer and also chick but we'll always know no matter what we call this it will always be chick babe or babe chick okay i'm probably in general insane for trying this but i am going to paint the top sides of this inflatable this old 1983 avon red crest with flex seal liquid in white why well it'll provide a uv damage inhibiting coating to wherever I put it on, but it'll also seal up some little pinholes if they exist. I'm not sure they do. And if you look really closely here, right at the bottom, Hypalon polyurethanes. So it's supposedly good for this old Hypalon dinghy, but really I want to cover up these old numbers and the ghost of the old name that's on the back there. That's what I'm going to use. Wish me luck. Better roll good. 
you get swept away. You have to make friends with the guy fishing. I think you're gonna make it. I'm feeling good about this. All right. 